Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Chill. And it's your boy Will. And this is the Pull Up Podcast. With Chill Will. Yes, sir. Y'all know what time it is. It's episode eight. And we got a very, 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 very special guest. Hey, it's the boy KO and Cold Turkey Management in the building, man. Y'all are Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. It's absolute pleasure having you in the building today, man. I got me feeling special out here, man. That was a nice introduction. You a very, very, very special guest, man. We all that's all we got is very, very, very special. A king in your own right, man. Ah, yes, thank sir. You, man. Appreciate yes, it. Sir. Appreciate it. Wow, I gotta live up to this. <laughs> <laughs> gotta live up to this. For sure. Cause we sure. hey, cause we show love and we show respect on the pull up podcast, man. Um, before we get into all that, I got I forgot to tell you guys, watch and subscribe. Y'all know what time it is. Leader reviews, already know. comments. You know what I'm saying? We at the top of the episode, so we want to make sure we do that. Um uh, make sure y'all leave y'all reviews on Apple Podcasts and all that mm-hmm. stuff, man, because mm-hmm. we love y'all and we appreciate y'all for showing us some love. Um, and subscribe to the podcast on YouTube as we get into it with my boy KO. Hey, tell tell the people, um, you know what you do and who you are. Oh, well, thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Um, I'm Keep My Theo Linja, but you can call me KO, um, and I'm the CEO of Cold Turkey Management, as you know. Um, I'm an entertainment manager, so we manage projects in and outside the entertainment industry. Nice. Right. Absolutely. All right. All right. Yo, yeah. I got. I just want to ask. Go ahead. The name. How did you come up with Cold Turkey? Oh, oh wow. Question. We got time for that story. <laughs> yeah, we going right into it. Uh, Cold Turkey. Okay, well, you know, I, long story short, okay, um, first of all, Cold Turkey is a mindset. You know okay. what I'm saying? It's a mindset. It's about being able to cut off the things that don't serve you well or don't, you know, don't feed your legacy. Right. Right? And just cut it off immediately once you recognize what it is, mm. once you find it. So cold turkey is a lifestyle. Now, for me, personally, um, a quick story. I came back in town from a business trip. Okay. You know, I had my backpack. I returned my rental car, had my backpack. And then uh, I met my brother Radar and a couple hey, of friends here in the background. Shout out to the shout homie. To um, I met them at a local bar we hung at. And, um, you know, just getting back in town. I had all my stuff on me. So uh, we were drinking. One shot led to the next. And, um, yeah, that's how you goes, know, usually. and then all of a sudden, I just, uh, apparently it was an interesting night. You know, yeah. A lot of people told me about it the day after. So. Uh, hold, hold, hold on. You don't remember? Listen, <laughs> I, w- I woke up. Night. It, was I woke up. it was one of those. Yeah. It was a hangover it was night. A hangover you night. know what I'm saying? Okay. It was a hangover night. And that particular night, you know, I I, I woke up, <laughs> woke up back at the house. Uh, my backpack wasn't with me, you know. And I looked, and I had a, a framed picture of old school Atlanta, just sitting in the middle of my living room. I'm like, where did this come from? It's like an old. It's in the studio today. Yeah, yeah. And it's like an old picture of the old skyline of Atlanta. I'm yeah, like, yeah. I don't know where this even came from. Yeah. But I didn't have my backpack. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, um, you know, my friends, I'll spare you all the details, but uh, some of my friends told me the long night that I had and the magical people I met on the way <laughs> and the connections. Magical people? Right, well, the magical like, people. Like, like, uh, uh, like, what do you call it? Uh, uh, oh, shit. No, no, not, not Lost, magical in that way. Not magical. <laughs> not magical in that way. The people I met at the local right, bar right. and the friendships okay, we Okay, okay, we had, you know, hey, and hey. Um, you know, I woke up the next morning and I said, "Hold on, this is the first time, personally, first time, personally." Because you know, I had a lot of stuff in that backpack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had contracts in that backpack. I had NDAs. We're not gonna say which ones, so right, everybody is right. still covered, okay? Right, 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 but right. I had NDAs, I had camera equipment, yeah. I had footage for things, I had a lot of a lot of work from this trip. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Personal information, right? I had a lot of things in this backpack, and I woke up, and this was like back when, now this is before Cold Turkey Management, okay, existed officially, okay, okay. okay. There was a, it was a Ko uh, Ko. Uh, Consultant, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I remember and, um, that day. It was before that, yeah. And I woke up that day and I was like, Yo, for the first time, I had a lot of big things on the table. For the first time, I said, I got you mean to tell me I got so drunk that I set my business back 
And I said I wasn't going to drink again. That was the last time I had a drink. Mm. And then two weeks later, I mended the name to Cold Turkey Management. Mm. And was like, yeah, we cutting off anything that's stopping this business. Damn. Stop. We're cutting off anything wow. that set me back. And I'm like, I lost wow. contracts. I Ooh. said, nah, I got to be dead. I got to be sharp. Yeah. That's how I saw it. So that was just me. That was me being stubborn, Virgo. <laughs> and I said, I'm just not yeah. doing it again. And that was the last time I had a drink, period. And I was like, I'm going I'm to give that up so I can make this business go up. And then I just applied it to my philosophy. I'm like, anything that sets you back, anything that's making you lose. Bro. And it's not alcohol for everybody. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just something that happened in my is. moment. Yeah. Whatever yeah, it is, yeah. it, can be, it, it is. can be bad business relationships. It can be bad relationships. Yeah. It can be anything that's not really putting you on your path to where you're trying to get to right, and your right, goals. Right. Sure. You got to be able to cut it out cold turkey. Yeah, mm. Don't even play Don't with even it. Play with you know it. what I'm saying? And Ooh. So it's really a way I approach management. It's the way I approach business. Um, it's the way I approach business relationships. Yeah. And, um, you know, I like to think for, for companies, we help them cut out the things that hold them back Ooh. so they can get to their goals. You oh. know what I'm saying? And that's how, how do you do that? Um, well, you really have to assess what's, what the business is doing right and what the business is doing wrong. Yeah. You have to really look at what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so some good old-fashioned like, admin. I was going to say, you yeah. do like SWOT analysis and like you go Absolutely. that deep? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weaknesses, I got a marketing opportunities, degree, threats. So you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, so I got... That's what we do. Me too. Marketing degree. Oh, hey. Yeah, for Clark Atlanta, okay. marketing okay. degree. Okay, so I know all about nice. the SWOT analysis. Yeah. So yeah. um, the very first thing you have to do is actually get to know the person's business. Yeah. And by getting to know it, I mean, you think of the things they're doing right, things they're doing really well, and the things they could do better. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's the very first thing. And then it starts mm -hmm. becoming very apparent what's going wrong. Yeah, what they and do well, to, what hinders them. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So you have to really just attack those things immediately, address mm -hmm. it, put it on the table. Why? Why do you think? Sorry. I, uh, why do you think that? Is it because you're a Virgo? Is, do, do, do you think that's why you're you're able to do that? Because because I know you're a creative. A lot of us are creatives, right? Absolutely. Like I think everybody Absolutely. sitting in this room is a creative in, some, in their own right, in some sort of way, right? Yeah. But a lot of creatives have a hard time managing. Right? Absolutely. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So why, why, <laughs> he's, he raised I'll his hand. <laughs> yeah. why, but I mean, but how, so how do you, like, how do you, how do you, how do you make that work for you? How do you manage yourself? Uh, like you said, be able to stop something cold turkey, be have so, because people can't do that, right? Well, I, like, yeah, I have very, hard. very low self discipline. I can't do that. I <laughs> I'm I trying so hard. I get it. I need to get there at some point. Because I because I feel like there's certain things in my life that's hindering me that way, right? Yeah. And that's some that's some some gold knowledge I need. You know what I'm saying? So right. so how would you tell us and the, and the rest of these people, like what is it what is it KO does? Like how do you just cut things off and make and make those movements and manage yourself? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um and then on top of that, be managing other artists, you know? Well, and you know, quickly though, I just want to give the kudos. Because, oh, you, you know, the mind is something that I've really tapped into over the last couple of years through some experiences that I've gone through. Okay. And every time I meet someone Man. that is walking in a path of a strong and intentional mindset. Yeah, you have to be. It's just so inspiring. Yeah, man. So thank you for, for, for being one of those people. Because it's not everybody can't, not everybody can be like that. Well, not everybody has the capacity. Uh, well, well, first of all, I was going to say that I'm not perfect. Of course, <laughs> okay. not, of course not. Of course and, not. Um, yeah. but of course and, not. Uh, it's just I have my to challenges. Of course. Yeah, everybody <laughs> and, does. And, and I have to constantly remind myself. And, um, you know, we, we, we make mistakes. Sometimes we go backwards. Sure. But um, mm -hmm. that's you're okay. Aware. You're human. You're aware yeah, of it. You're aware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's, that's, that's really, the yeah. it's really the awareness, awareness that matters the key. most, yeah. right? Yeah. Because yep. we're not perfect. Absolutely. Right. We're not perfect. But as long as you know what you're supposed to be doing and you can constantly work at it and consistency is key, right? Um, for me, I am a creative, of course. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of experiences that I went through professionally to help me. You know what I'm saying? We talk about our old, we, right. the, we talk about our old company, you know right. what I'm saying? Business. Of course, getting the marketing degree. So there were different things that I looked at. I was like, okay, this is business. It's, it's different. Business is different from being a creative, right? 100%. Creative is just free will. Yeah. You can, the, the more free you are, the more, <laughs> yeah. the more out the box you think. Yeah the better it'll serve you creatively. <laughs> right. um, business is more of a structure thing, right? Yeah. 
So you can create all day. No, you don't have to make money off it. You can just have a passion for creating. A lot of people do. But once you decide that you want to do this to make a living, once you decide that you want this to be a business and, you know, build a legacy, make it. then you, you, have to, you have to adopt certain discipline, right? And um, um, for me, being a creative, I was around so many creatives, but I always had a knack for business. So I said, okay, listen, I saw what artists were going through. I can relate to what the artists are going through. You know, the thing that makes you sing so well. I mean, you, you, you're trained and things like that, of course. Yeah. But, the, you know, when you're coming from your heart, that doesn't mean good business sense. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And, that, that, like, that's your talent. That's your talent. But that doesn't automatically equate to that, right? Yeah. So what I, I saw so many great artists who were struggling with the business side. And so it's really me saying, all right, what would be the greater good for those around me, the collective? You know what I'm saying? And I, was, I basically said, well, you know what? I'll focus on some of this business. I'm still creative. I help writers do things, artists do things. But unless somebody has to figure this business side out, otherwise we're always going to be around here broke. Right, right, <laughs> or we're right, right, always right. just going to be doing it for the love and right. never really making yeah. money off right. it. You know what I'm saying? So it was something that um, I felt that I can help people. I felt that I can help my immediate circles. And um, it would help, it'll help get us all further. You know what I'm saying? So I just kind of said, you know what? You know, I already had a, a, a knack for just, you know, business and facilitating people. Yeah. So I said, well, you know what? I'll go ahead and I'll fall backwards and, to, well, you know, fall into the background and make sure we all get somewhere. Mm. So I kind of just took that responsibility yeah. of just, you know, handling the business for my brothers and sisters I saw struggling. Yeah. Because they were super talented, but, mm -hmm. you know, people were taking advantage of them, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So. That's how I really and, and they need and and uh, and a lot and a lot of us need that right a lot of a lot of us need that uh, that structure that additional structure or Absolutely. that that push right like for I, I think for for us you know the people that's involved in what we got going on here and it's a big thing for us like this podcast is a test of our consistency you know right what I'm saying? absolutely you know absolutely. What I'm saying? doing great it's, it's great it's a test huh? of our consistency and we yeah. want to continue it because we 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 okay this is not. This is something that we can, uh, uh. We Absolutely. Know, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and the response has been good. You know, shout out to y'all watching. It's dope. You know, so, so it's been like, okay, you know, that also builds confidence. So, but I think a lot of people uh, forget that they have to do something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To get confidence. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I, I don't think confidence just, I don't think, I think, I don't think confidence just happens. And some, sometimes it does. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think confidence in certain things that you do, you have to challenge yourself to get past it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. To start something so that it can, you know, so that it can be what it is. You know what I'm saying? No, absolutely. So, yeah, absolutely. That's exactly where the confidence comes from. Actually putting some action behind right. something. Right, right. You learn so much when you're in the thick of it, you know? Mm. You learn so much when you're in the thick of it. You know, that you can have all the philosophies, you can watch as many YouTube videos as you want, but there are things that you miss and you won't know about yeah. until you actually jump into it and really get into the thick of it. There's, there's things you don't think to talk mm -hmm. about. Right. So, um, absolutely, getting started. And you have you got to you have to speak it into yourself too. That's what yeah. I've learned for myself. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You know, you can't wait for somebody else to say it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. the truth be told, the more that you speak it into yourself, the more you actually start believing it because it's you that don't believe it most of the time first oh, anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> imposter syndrome is real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You guys ever watch imposter syndrome is real. Imposter really syndrome real. is real, yeah, man. man. It will crush. You know what that your is? Spirit. Imposter syndrome when you <laughs> when you're operating in yeah. a space, but you you haven't. It's like you're not really moving confidently because you're yeah. like, am I really that guy? Mm. Am I really that artist that I want to be? Am I really that manager? Am I really that producer? Or am yeah. I just playing? Am I this? And then you'll Worried be you'll be all the way in it. Yeah. yeah. You'll have your first production, you'll do your first show, you'll be managing artists and still tell yourself, Am I not that right. person? That's imposter syndrome. You gotta really operate with confidence and recognize who you yeah. are. Yeah. Recognize where 100. you are. This is kinda like kinda on the same thing, but not <laughs> right. Y'all you guys ever seen this show on Netflix called Alone? No. Or so. it's very similar to Survivor. Okay. So the concept of the show, right? Um, uh, the concept is, and I'm talking about challenges. So um, bring me back if I forget. <laughs> so, uh, so 
the concept of the show is that they just drop them in a, in the wilderness. Is that what it's called? Alone? And one of the I, two the two people? No, this is just one. They drop them one alone. Person. Okay. <laughs> oh, alone, one person. Like, gotcha. Oh, yeah, they drop them in that bitch on they lowly. Yeah. yeah, they solo dolo in that bitch. They, they literally, uh-huh. like the, the opening scene for everybody getting dropped off is like they're they're on a boat <laughs> on a lake with one other person. Wow. The person drops them off and then they be like, and then they got their little handy cam and they be like, and they're by themselves. All right. And they by themselves. By themselves. Wow. And, and, they, and so the, the goal, the goal is who can last the longest? Whoever lasts the longest, you get a million, right? Which is weird. It feels like very Hunger Games ish to me, to, to be honest with you. They just can't put real people out there, but they were like, hey, go out in nature and let's see what happens. Rainforest. Right. They'll drop yeah, you off they places. just drop you. They just so they, drop do they you. give you certain supplies, they, certain tools? You, you can bring, you, oh. it, based on the survivor expert, right? Because these are all survivalist experts, right? But, oh, they, okay. but they, um, they drop them off with whatever tools. They give them like a certain amount of tools that they can bring. Mm, okay. And those are the tools that they bring, I think right? I'm saying it, yeah. And, and they got to live off those tools. And wow. man, when I tell you, and like they're all in it for the challenge, right? They're mm, all in it for right. the challenge of like seeing how far they can take themselves. Right. So what, what I'm bringing all this together is motherfuckers get innovative when it's time, when it's do or die. You have to be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You have to be. Survival mode, man. get innovative when Survival it's do mode. or die, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the stuff that they do on this show to like, like, man, one of the episodes, and I, I don't want to go too far off on this thing, but one of the episodes, bro, like, the dude, he hears something, he's trying to, he, first of all, they know to cook somewhere away from where they sleep. Because <laughs> the food. Because the food the smell. smell. You don't want the bears, bears and coming. shit. That's start. smart. Smart. That's you smart. Know, I, I didn't be, even think of that shit. I'll be, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'll be <laughs> cooking in the cooking sleeping bag. bag. And shit. I'll be cooking in the <laughs> sleeping <laughs> bag. Like, yo, right next to the sleeping bag. Like, yo, like, <laughs> wow. Grizzly man. That's nigga. dangerous. And they know. They know. They know. Wow, that's they dangerous. know like, where they drop them. It's like, nigga, the Grizzlies, is de- this is day spot. Wow. Yeah, they are the Those are they things. are the top of the food chain. We not here right. at the top of the nigga, these niggas will fuck us right. up. Right. We, yeah. we gotta be on our P's and Q's with the bears. But wow. I'm bringing all that to say, he he he's cooking, mm. he hears a twig snap, clap. he's like, he looks back and he's like, it's a mountain lion. And he's looking at it, mountain he's like, lion. it's a mountain lion, and a mountain lion staring at him. A mountain lion? This nigga just staring at him. I'm like, and he and he got it's just his it's him and the phone. So he got the phone look looking at the camera and the mountain lion just, hmm, what you finna do, nigga? Wow. <laughs> and and but look, check this out. So I'm thinking, damn, my nigga finna run. He finna run. He finna go get a bow and arrow because he a bow and arrow specialist. This nigga ran at the mountain lion. What? <gasps> nigga. What did the mountain lion do? Listen, he said, oh, I was trying to get him the tree. And they so they they drop what tree is on the on the like uh you know they put the caption they say this is what treeing is running at a cat to get him to go up a tree to make him easier to hunt. Nigga, I would have ran away. He said, nah, I'm running. I was trying to eat him. I ran at him wow. to get him to run up a tree so I could go get the bow and arrow in. Get him. So this is a strategy. It's wow. a strategy. Wow, did it work? Niggas, no, it didn't work. Because okay. he didn't have his bow and arrow, so okay. he was like, so he was mad at himself because he was like, damn, I went, I, I went Sleep back with the to bow go, and arrow. He was like, I went back to go get my arrow instead of running at him first. But he ran at him. He was like, he went, he tried to go get his arrow, and he didn't. He, you know, he That's fucked sad. up. He's like, fuck, let me go, let me just go get him. And he started running at him. He was like, shit, I ran at him too late. And the cat's ready. And the cat was already gone. He was like, damn, I tried. I was trying to get him the tree so uh-huh. he could go up in the tree so he could go back and get it. I'm like, nigga. That's how you hunt. Niggas get That's how you innovative hunt a when line. it's do or die. Wow. Never knew that. That's wild. I never knew that, bro. Wow. So, yeah. I mean, but you, those are people that they probably live their lives in that mode. Yeah, they do. Like, there's a reason why he knows that kind of stuff. They do yeah. the work. The they average the person research. is not gonna think. Like yeah, that. they do the work. Yeah, for yeah. sure. That's yeah. deep. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. challenges, man. Oh, yeah. If you yeah. find out a lot about yourself when you go through challenges, yeah, you absolutely. Know what I'm saying? I, I agree. And, and to be one of those people who's 
Um, and here's the other thing. So many people in the world are, are afraid to take those challenges. So they never grow. Right. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I can attest to being that person, bro. No, nah, I don't say that. I don't no, like that. No. Nah. You don't have to no, say no, it. No, I mean, it's my truth. If, if it's it, true. Okay, all right. You know what I'm saying? But but see, for me, I mean, you might see it as a I bad don't feel thing. That way. You may see it as a bad thing. I see it as a good thing because yeah. it's, it's an opportunity for me. Yeah. To see me for me mm. and to decide that this is a part of me that I don't want. Oh, no, perspective is yeah. man. Perspective. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah, winning. Yeah. That's a winning. I don't. I don't run from you that. Gotta kind of stuff no, yeah. You gotta I mean, recognize. No, I feel you. gotta recognize. I just say knowing strength. your weaknesses is a strength. <laughs> yeah. Like knowing your weaknesses, that's yeah. a strength. Yeah. So that's understanding yourself is important. Yeah, man. But it's putting cool. yourself, but it, and then those people who grow, I feel like the most like it, are the people you know. Um, I feel like a lot of people in this, in, in my opinion, I feel like a lot of people in this room who face challenges, who who create challenges that they can overcome. Absolutely. Because you don't have to go on that show. Yeah. You don't have to go on that show. And people on that show, they, they some people, like the, the task is to stay the longest. Some people, there's a guy from the Virgin Islands, he lived like that already. He's like, yeah, me and my wife and my kids, we all survivalists. Like, this is what we do. Nigga, wow. what? He live on the beach. He live on the beach in Virgin Islands. He literally live on the beach. He got a hut, and he just he's like, I lived in a hut for eleven years, nigga. Wow. What? Right. But you think about, but we think that's so wild. But there's a whole there's whole tribes of people that yeah. just they they yeah. like they look yeah. at this peace. show like, nigga, what's this? This is nothing. Yeah, peace, <laughs> chilling, <laughs> chilling. Yeah, that's easy. And he'll I'll survive all of us. Right. Mm, Real I'll survive yeah. all of us. Yeah. Ooh, so then that so then that begs the question: What's challenging for who? Like. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's really challenging? Well, it's different for everybody. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. You know, like, I mean, perspective, the way you look at things is just, I mean, it's everything. Yeah. Something that's easy to you can be challenging to me, but it's only because of my mindset. It's Would legitimate. you agree? Would you agree? I, I, I ask myself this question. Would you agree that the only thing that stops a person, any of us, from doing anything is that yes which would absolutely. say that we all have the ability and capacity to do i could do what you do if i decided in my mind to do whatever i needed to do to get there the only thing that can <laughs> genuinely stop you is you mm. period man the we only all thing the i don't care ability. who says no the only thing that can stop you is you literally i totally agree man like a no be like oh okay you I said agree, no man. but who that doesn't matter I like agree. you know there's and you, all these other billions of people out yeah. here. Like, so the only thing that can stop you is you. Someone tells you no, you're like, man, it's over for me. And you got to recognize when you're stopping you, too. Yeah. Ooh. You got you to gotta get out your own way. You That's it. Man, y'all, I know we're getting deep. We're getting real good. Let's take a quick break. Yo, so, KO, I, I saw you posted something about, like, fencing. You don't see a whole lot of black folks fencing out here. And you, don't, you, don't, you also don't... I don't know a whole lot of people in the fence and like what tell me about that man like and it, and it was all cold turkeyed out so like what, what what's going on with that well you know what that was uh um he's actually family too um i have a cousin i have a cousin out of boston boston he graduated from boston college jahi tracy and uh man he's dope he's a dope fencer he's been fencing for years yeah and um you know he got a, he had a couple uh couple of medals under his belt a couple of trophies under his belt and um, he's dope. So yeah. um, I did post that. That was with the Cold Turkey Sporting yeah. um, page. And uh, I mean, Cold Turkey Sporting is about celebrating the athletes. It's a brand. It's a brand that really promotes athletes and um, uh, the lifestyle, the, the gear that goes with it. Mm. So, uh, yeah, we, we, we look forward to doing a lot of um, sponsoring, sponsoring athletes nice. and oh. teams, right? Um, whether it's fencing. Whether it's uh, esports athletes, which yeah. is really the way um, you know stadium play is going, so that's right. professional gaming. If you don't know, esports mm -hmm. is actually right. a professional right. sport now. Wow, and man. that's yeah. His sister's cool. into game, man. We got. Yeah. I was telling yeah. her she gotta get into it. She <laughs> say she gotta. She said that, that PC five. Oh, <laughs> listen, it's professional. I mean, billions of dollars wow. every year. Yeah. Athletes are earning millions, and people be getting money it's off big. that. Oh no, it's a professional that's sport. Wow. You know, still. yeah, it's a professional sport now, and I think um, it, it's important that uh, when it comes to esports, it is a sport of the future. Even though it's happening now, I think it's important for uh, us to be aware that this mm. is where this is going. So when you see your child playing 
video games, he's not wasting his time. He can possibly he be talented. Be, she better not and, be. Right, right. And so, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, we're, that's definitely going to be under uh, a lot of sponsorship for Cold Turkey Sports. that's crazy. So, and other athletes as well. So you have multiple branches. Cold Turkey is not just one thing. No, absolutely, absolutely. With, with – um, with me, you know, we're creative people. Yeah, yeah. So most artists I know can do multiple things. They can do a lot of different things. Um, but, you know, the management side of me said, let's just go ahead and, you know, separate certain things so we can focus on one thing at a time. Yeah. Um, so we do have different brands. We have Cold Turkey Management, uh, uh, Cold Turkey Films, you know, doing more shorts now and short film plans. Um, so these are companies that are early, but it's kind of getting out all the different things I want to do. Yeah. I want to sponsor athletes, right? Yeah, I want to yeah. put together sports teams. Then I need to go have my cold turkey sporting over here so that I can just be about that. Everybody yeah. who works with cold turkey sporting understands that that's that vision. Yeah. You know? mm. And, of course, um, the management is our management brand. We actually manage projects for people. We manage artists. Uh, we manage productions, concerts, right. events, you know. Um, so, yeah, we break it down. We yeah. break it down so we can nice. really focus and, you know, artistic minds go all over the place. Yeah. Right. It's, it's a way to help us focus. If you show up at Cold Turkey Sporting, this is all about sports. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, it keeps me focused. It keeps me disciplined. And, yeah. So, for sure. I, I got a question. Yeah. So, let's, so I've, I've been posing this question for a while, right? So, we're okay. talking about sports, right? So, you're a yeah. basketball guy, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you fuck with basketball, right? You yeah, yeah, all right. So you know enough. You know, you know, you know, you know who MJ is, Steph. You know, course, you're a basketball yeah, guy. Yeah. All right. So, so I I said this the other day, and I and I and I want to like I want to like start this. So y'all put y'all post in the comment, but like I want to like relate R and B artists mm -hmm. to like who they are. Like so. All right. Let me explain. That's brilliant. Let me explain. Right. So so I, uh, not too long ago, Usher. Well, it's probably a while. Uh, go by now, but Usher did his NPR, you know what I'm saying, his uh, his Tiny Desk, right? And like, and it hit me, I was like, yo, Usher is the Kobe Bryant <laughs> of R&B. Ah, okay. So who's MJ? Uh, Who's the MJ of R&B? Somebody said R. Kelly. <laughs> but he might That's be. So, he might be the MJ? The MJ of R&B. Well, of R&B. Yeah. So, so I can't so, so even. I know, I mean, okay, but who can't they just hit him with? Is he they just hit him with. I know, hit him with 30 I know, years, and I'm man. not talking about. Listen, I know, I, I'm I not, know. I'm not. I'm not. Y'all know. I don't, it's just when when you when you I start trying with. to compare anybody to MJ, it's just hard to put somebody That's a rough up there, one, man. <laughs> man. But there MJ is. Come on, R &B. there's a there's a MJ he, of R&B. But, but but you know, given you know, well, all the stuff he's okay. Well, the R R has. Okay, he, he it's got, gotta he, be it's gotta be R. Kelly. Come on, guy. He had so many babies. Everybody's I say, watching him. I say it gotta be. Well, I say oh, it has pause. to be. It has to <laughs> be. It has to be MJ. It, it, MJ. MJ. Michael Jackson. But is MJ R and B or is he pop? I mean, he, he, he escalated hey, he to was pop. The king of pop. He was, I mean, so he, he doesn't have R and B hits. I know, I know. He does, but I mean, but he's the king of pop. The R and B guys don't so dance like him. him? But I'm I mean, saying, tell me which R&B guys not busting no, MJ I'm not, I'm, moves. I'm not disagreeing with you, but I'm saying, do, do we do we do we say he's an R&B artist or but is he a pop artist? Because you're asking specifically about. I'm talking about R&B. So R&B, yeah. you have to. Ooh, I, that's I feel hard. Like, I feel like MJ came from R&B. He came from but it, it's but like his he lineage, graduated the pop. His his his, his so legacy was an R&B. His legacy is Jack, pop. His legacy, his legacy is, pop. is pop. Okay, so we have to really. And I feel like Prince is the same way too. Like his legacy is pop. And I'm, so I don't want to I don't want to exclude yeah. them, but I feel like they're definitely they, pop they're beyond artists. So, you know what I'm saying? They're right, beyond right. R and B. But I'm talking yeah. about like it, well, you or say, is you, Usher? You say R and B, so we got to respect your I, view on I, this. I, I mean, or yeah. is Usher MJ? I you know what I mean? No, no offense to Usher. No offense to Usher. He's dope. Usher's dope. I just want to say that for the record. He, I think he, he's Usher's doing a lot dope. out here in this industry. But he's more like he's the making Kobe, his moves. Right? Is he like the Kobe? Kobe. So is Marvin Gaye MJ? Uh, there's a lot of factors that could go into this because we what era Marvin are we Gaye talking MJ? about? See, this you is a good conversation. I love this. Marvin I love Gaye it. MJ. I love it. <laughs> right That's now, what you wild. think? We're going what all over. We're going. 
He said, he said, come get on the mic. Come yeah, get on the yeah. mic. Come get on the mic. Come get on the mic. <laughs> you can use Tetris mic. <laughs> I'm just like, wow. You come on the mic. Come on the mic. On the front, on the front, on the front. Yeah. Everywhere, right? Yeah. Well, but I mean, but yeah. why can't you though? Why can't you? Because we don't. We don't, that's not how we do with the NBA. The NBA, we talk about MJ is the best of all time, right? Yeah, right. And then, absolutely. and before that, it was Dr. J, and and you know they got Kobe. Kobe doing his thing was doing his thing. Rest in peace to Kobe. You know what I'm saying? And and so here, and the, y'all, I think y'all can see why I relate him to Kobe, right? I I do see. I do see. Okay. So it's Chris Brown, Steph Curry. Ooh, wow. questions. Or is he LeBron? <gasps> That's Chris Brown. I mean, LeBron is is LeBron not a MJ like conversation? I I exactly. Hey, so That's what I'm saying. I like Chris Brown a lot. About, and is he and is he R and B too? I think he's definitely R and B. He's R and B. They, they try to make him R&B. We got but the really, amount of records yeah. that he got. Think about think if you think about it like that, because like LeBron came and murdered everybody's record. Mm. So did Curry. So, wow. And so did. So did Chris. So is it, did he? Is he Curry or is he LeBron? I would put Chris on Curry. Ooh, why? Um, because all right. So the thing about LeBron. Yeah. And the thing about Curry. This is so. It's tough. <laughs> it, it really <laughs> is. It's tough. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Yeah. But they have, but everybody has a place. Like, like and you, you kind of got, you kind of got to know their stats too when you start talking like this. See, but I know basketball and I know R and B, so maybe that's why. Like, cause I, cause it, it, I, I don't know, I don't really know. Like, and, and then like, and I think about it all. Like, who, who's Allen Iverson then? You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Like, who's, like, yeah. uh, who's Maxwell? I feel Maxwell by, a top seven. By the way, though. hey, Radar is the president of Cold Turkey Sporting, so hey, that's hey, his, that's his shout arena. Out to the homie. That's his arena shout right there. Yes, sir. That's his arena. <laughs> hey, shout out to Radar. Yes, sir. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So is he lucky day? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> right, Look, I'm, right. I'm just right. it up. I'm just, I'm just playing, though. I'm just throwing out more shit. <laughs> Who's this is Maxwell? Real. This is real. <laughs> Which one is Maxwell? This is real. <laughs> Maxwell like Joe Dumars. <laughs> anyway, moving along from sports, man. That was, that was great. That was wonderful. Uh, <laughs> Yo, but it's a great debate to have, though. I think I think if y'all got uh, comments that y'all want to leave, put it in the comments below. Um, we would love to hear how you would rate NBA players that R and B stars. That's that's one of them kind of debates that people end up getting into fights about. <laughs> Somebody get into a fist fight about that because they don't agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga, I'll beat your ass over Joe. <laughs> hey, that's hilarious. No, I love it. Um, all right, moving right along. Uh, so. Uh, tell us how, like, um, your name is your name is Kamanti. Oh, it's, a, it's a, I always forget. I always mess up here. Kamanti Olinja. Kamanti Olinja. So that's that's a that's that's you know that's that that's line, that's a different kind of lineage. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Talk to us about that. Are you yeah. are you yeah, from are you from the states? Yeah, I'm, I'm from the states. From the states? Um, Where are your yeah. parents from? Well, my dad's from Kenya, East Africa. Uh-huh. Um, right, so that's that's Kimathi Olinja. Uh-huh. Uh, Kimathi is a Kenyan name. Olinja Kenya. is a Kenyan name, for sure. Uh-huh. Okay, for sure. Okay. Um, my mother's from South Carolina, so you know, okay. I have uh, old fashioned values and then super old fashioned values. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> About yeah, yeah. A thousand years. So, <laughs> right. um, 
So uh, definitely, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm how was kid. that as a as a as a kid, like growing up? Like, how was that dynamic between your mom, and your dad, and their mm. their roots and stuff? Well, That's you good. know, my mother's from uh, a place called Beaufort, South Carolina. If anybody uh, knows about Beaufort. Beaufort, South Carolina, it's you're you're down there with the Gullah speaking people. So there's tons of African culture, right? Okay. Mm. A lot of West African culture. That's, that's West African. Thri- Gullah yeah. come from West African. Well, yeah. Well, it's you know Gullah is is, is a mix, it's dialect of African words yeah. as well. But you know, if you think about you know how how um, some black people made it to yeah. the states historically, some yeah. not all, right? Yeah. Um, that uh, you know came a lot came from West Africa, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, that culture is really deep in history and rich in African, you know. Mm different values and mm-hmm. systems. Yeah. So it's not as extremely different as you would think, mm-hmm. you know, even down to the foods you eat. A lot of foods are similar okay. um, because it just carried over from Africa. Yeah, yeah, of course. So um, it wasn't as, you know, I, I like to think that the, that kind of connection brought them together. Even, yeah. yeah, because mm-hmm. it's old fashioned. It's yeah, old fashioned. Yeah. You go to Buford right now, they'll tell you about some old, they still say African words. Mm-hmm. They still practice African traditions. They may not know mm-hmm. it, but it's the same, you know. Nice. So yeah. the Gullah culture down in Beaufort, South Carolina, is very rich in history, and so it's not it's not far off at all. Is Gullah mm-hmm. and Geechee? Or what are the differences? Is that because I I know I hear about Geechee from South Carolina too. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Is that the, it, I know it's not the same. Well, you, you know, know what? First of all, I'm not going to pretend like I'm the authority no, on no, it. No, but, you know what I'm saying? Because I mean, if you know, some people I, have different. Asking, some people you know? have different perspectives. Okay. Hey, some people you know, have different if perspectives. You know, you know what or what's your and, perspective? Um, That's all we want to know. Right. <laughs> you on the show? Me, right, everybody right, right, knows right, me. Right. You right. Show, right. It's your like, perspective. To what me, you think about? I'm like, I'm like Gullah. Gullah is like the culture, of course. Um, I feel like Geechee. Man, we used to say that, hey, you Geechee when you, it's almost like you're talking Gullah, but you're talking fast, and you really get deep into it. It's like when you Geechee, it's like, all right, you're going, you're going deep into the culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, even if you speak, like if someone say, oh, you Geechee, that means you really bringing your accent out real hard. You're really speeding up your tongue. Yeah, you yeah. You know, so that's, that's how I always looked at it, and that's just from a child's perspective growing up and seeing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, oh, you getting Geechee. I mean, you talk, you talking Gullah, but you speaking it real fast, and your accent's getting real strong, mm. and that energy coming through. It's like, yeah. oh, you Geechee. You Ooh, know what I'm saying? So, okay, but it's okay. the same culture. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same place. You okay, know what okay, I'm okay, so, okay. It's a different, different take on different spin. Mm. You know? Did you did you give yourself the nickname or the the abbreviation KO, or did someone else give you that? Uh, that came from I mean, oh shit like knock it's bro like, I'm <laughs> way late first oh of all, shit first of all, first of all I'm uh, way late bro <laughs> why you realize the initials yeah okay like, it's not it's not the super creative stuff it's really just my initials yeah, yeah. and yeah, um, yeah, yeah. when you have a name like Kimati Olinja you used to be chopping it up right, right? right, right. Yeah. so you know when I was younger I literally. Make sure everybody said my name right. Kimati, Kimati. Right, right, right. It's not Kamati. It's not you know. People said it different ways. Mm-hmm. I'm like it's key. The eyes make an e sound in Swahili. It's right. Kimati. But when I got older, and kind of just started focusing on what matters the most, that you remember that I know you're talking to me. Right, First of all, right, you address right. me that I know you're talking to me, and secondly, that we communicate. I said I gave people a pass. I said you can say Kimati if you like. Or just call me KO. That's business. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, it really yeah. got, especially in certain industries, I'm like, let's communicate. Let's get past the personal. Yeah, stuff. Let's yeah, get yeah, to the business. Yeah, so KO was my initials, and I was like, you can call me KO. So I always tell people. I'm like, my name is Kimati Olinja, but you can just call me KO. Yeah. Like, it's your choice. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because the most important thing is that we can communicate with each other. Yeah, Not yeah, yeah. really you say my name the most perfect way, you know, but... I'm like, I want to, let's communicate. Let's get straight to the business. It wasn't, yeah. it was more so. So yeah, it became like a professional thing. People don't really call me KO outside of people. Are, you know, Yeah. it's like my family called me Kali. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, you know, Kimati. My mother called me Kimati in front of people. Yeah, you yeah, You feel yeah. me? But um, KO is cool. I'm like, communicate with me. Let's get to the things that really matter. Facts. You know what I'm saying? What we can do collective is not just about me. Right. So that's really where it came from. Uh, I gave For people sure. a, a shortcut. Yep. It's just you. It's just you and your brother, or y'all got more siblings? 
and there's eight of us. Oh, I seven, shit. It's seven, I have seven siblings. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, we have six more. So it's four boys, four girls. Uh, Real oh, African tribe. Real African that's tribe. Real African tribe. Real African tribe. Grew up hard. in the same house. Are y'all like, all close? Yeah, for sure. Really? What do you mean? Group Man, chats right now. That's hard. Four girls. You upset? Eight, y'all? When group chats go off. Wow. That's amazing, bro. We got a different way. I, I come from a big family. Y'all got, got a whole. Yeah. Y'all, got, y'all got a basketball team plus eight on the uh, plus oh. three on the bench. Oh, we used to hear all that. We used to hear all the African jokes. We used to hear all the African jokes. Like, oh, they got a tribe up there. We used to hear all the African jokes. Man, <laughs> tribe y'all on the block. That's beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah. To me, I love that. Like, why, too. like, why do we, first of all, I don't want to get too deep. I don't got I got to. I'm just always. Yeah, it's, it's going who, who off are, the deep man. end. I'm sorry, y'all. Go ahead. But um, it's like why, why, like even, even, even uh, Black Americans uh, or however you want to call it, whatever. I don't want to get into that right now. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. It goes deep. Can, so many it ways. Goes so deep. Black but, people uh, are having real conversations right, about right, this right. Right. in the home right now. Right. Black people are having real conversations. Y'all don't know about that. Because yeah. I'm Panamanian American. I, yeah. I feel like I'm Panamanian, Panamanian American, That's right? Uh, because my I was raised by Panamanians. Like Absolutely. my mother's side of the family, very Panamanian. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, you didn't hear that overseas. Right, other places. right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but uh, but but when people see, hey, yeah. Anyway, I don't want to get into right, it. Right, right. Goes deep. That goes deep. Uh, but it's like, why why do we have this perception, or why have we had this perception? I feel like really up until goddamn Black Panther, that. Africa, <laughs> you feel me already? <laughs> that Africa is like this wasteland of of no culture because there's the first thing that you know that you said earlier was uh you know to him was was about the culture right yeah. and and it's uh because it's a it the, or you said I'm sorry you said that you was like very traditional. Mm-hmm. You was like you was like traditional from your mom, but even more traditional from your pop. Mm-hmm. So it's, and that made me it triggered me to be like, man, it's crazy because so many folks over here think they think the other way. Like, oh, what, y'all don't have no co-. nah. It's even more traditional. Heavy they culture. they but heavy. It's, they it's, been it's, doing this. It's, it's because <laughs> of what it's because of what we've been given. Yeah, yeah, yeah. scraps. It's yeah. because of what we've been taught, yeah. and you know it's because I mean? of the false history that we're given by people yeah. that. <laughs> Perception are not a part of that history. Right, right, right. They know it because their people took us from there. Perception. They know it and they don't want us to know it. Mm. So they give us that facade that right. the home the homeland is is not what we, you know. It's it, it's it's a funny know thing it to be. because um you know, just just we talk about you know, the different perception you have of things, right? It's like uh my grandmother, I remember when she came to the states from Kenya. And um, we were in South Carolina, and there's a festival called the Heritage Festival. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you get about 70,000 people a year, right? Big festival. When she came from Kenya and went to the festival, you know what she said? She said she never knew that there were this many black people in America. Wow. And we were in one place in South Carolina, 70,000 people at a festival. And she said, literally, she never knew Damn. There was this many black people in America. She said, when I look wow. at TV, wow. all I see whites, are white people or yeah. other people. You don't see black people. They said, when, when she sees commercials, this is back in the 90s. She said, when she sees commercials, you know, now they're doing a better job with that. Version yeah, of way TV. better. Yeah. But, you know, way if you, if you, back in the day, you saw a Tide commercial. Oh, yeah. It was never black. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Tide, but I just threw out hey. anything. But... Real Any product. Go on, no, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. But uh, so she literally thought she said that just based on the TV, the media, just they will show black people doing rough stuff like crime and all that. Yeah, he said, but the average basic stuff that they looked at didn't have black people. This didn't show. So she didn't right. know there was this many black people in the state. She thought it was like just a handful. That's and crazy. That was just it, and then everything. That's just a white country, right? So wow, you know the perception goes. Yeah. You know, both ways. Mm-hmm. You know, my grandparents, huge, gigantic, big house in Kenya. Bigger than the house we had here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a big house, be- eight, ten, like, yeah. big bedrooms, everything. Yeah. Bigger than the house here. So, perception is everything. And if, if you know perception is everything, then, you know. Bro, I want to go so Putting bad. out the wrong perception right. can be tough. Yeah. I want to go on a... Be rough. I want to go, <laughs> you know? go on a motherland tour, dog. I can't fucking wait. Is um yo, I was gonna say when you were talking about that, uh peep this, right? Y'all, I'm gonna fucking blow y'all mind if y'all haven't already peeped. 
uh, McDonald's, uh, McDonald's promotes, like you said, back in the day, there was nothing more white people on TV. McDonald's promotes exclusively to black people. Bro. Yeah. Have you guys noticed that? <laughs> I mean, what, when they came up with that pro, what's the kid? Have you guys? Was here's what's funny. Here's what's funny. What's the kid funny. from the high school? He's go through the neighborhood, be like, I'm not messing with the streets. I was just. <laughs> He's be like, I was I'm just going to work and like Calvin, Calvin. Calvin. His name was Calvin. Calvin. Calvin, yeah. Calvin, Calvin. McDonald's. I'm like Calvin, yo, Calvin's doing good. <laughs> Calvin's doing good. <laughs> Walking no, down the street no, no in the hood. There's no problem working with McDonald's, but they yeah. literally promoted that. Like Calvin yeah. changed his life. Changed his life. Calvin started working at McDonald's. <laughs> and Calvin changed his life. Now Bro. Tyrone, <laughs> Tyrone, <laughs> selling dope. He's selling dope. <laughs> He's fucking up. <laughs> he go back. Don't mess with. Hey, don't mess with Tyrone, don't mess with Calvin. Tyrone. Don't mess with making hundreds and hundreds of thousand dollars a week, but don't mess McDonald's. with Tyrone. Giving people McDonald's. Like, yo, Calvin <laughs> came with the McDonald's bag. I Be said, like oh, Calvin. This is, oh, this is messed up. Yo. Yo, when, said, he, up, yo. when he started said, talking, wow. though, when he started talking, McDonald's the first thing that came up because I just saw another commercial that I had never seen. And it was, it was made. Brother. No, it was this was. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin no, this one brother. was old. Yeah, wow. this one was from eighteen. This was this one was from nineteen. Mini fries. It was from nineteen seventy nine. Yeah, and it basically what I got from it was they. It was a family. It was a family. It was a, a mother, father, and a child, and the grandma, and the parents were taking the grandma <laughs> to McDonald's for the first time. Yeah. And she is eating the the, the, oh, the no. bagel and all of this, not grandma. and approving not that granny. McDonald's was okay. Oh, not granny. What I got, what, what, what I got wow, from this so was to the big mamas. Big it's mama. okay to stop cooking. Take your take your family. Yeah. To big McDonald's. Mama approved. Yeah, that's a big, mama like, big mama approved. Big mama approved. But the song though. No. But the but the song. The song the, I can't even remember. Oh, I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find the link. I gotta find it and send it to y'all. We got one more. We got one more real quick about McDonald's. One more. Pusha T and Pharrell did, did a ba da ba ba Yeah, yeah that's that Pusha T and Pharrell. I remember that. I remember that because they and he making long money off that. Yo, so both of them making long money off right. that. Right. Real money so long. Oh, yeah. So yeah, like they I mean, McDonald's put in that work. It's like, you know what? For real. Yeah, what's what's the value men you talk about? Black people. They McDonald's did their research and was like, out yo, to run get that you. up, run that up. So yeah, that's that's one of those things. <laughs> they out to Mickey D's yeah, is out to. It's man. been that way for Ronald. years. Perception is everything. Hey, when I saw hey, that one, that old, hey, that blew my mind. I hey, was like, hey, wow. peep been this. Doing this since seventy nine. Old, wow. <laughs> seventy nine. Wow. Peep this. They had a big ass clown, big ass clown ass nigga, <laughs> and a nigga and the burglar and the burglar, the hand burglar dressed up like a nigga in the pen, and they was like, come. Get this penitentiary food, wow. niggas. That's what they did. They've been promoting to wow. us this whole time, bro. Wow. Mickey D's, they the de demon. Demon. Uh-uh, demon. Oh, is that it? That's the you, link? You Play. found it. Oh, which one is this? This is the big mama? Tell oh, you the wow. goat. Tell you the goat. <laughs> no. Get the fuck. This is the song? Yes. This is the music. Dog. Who's singing this? And get some breakfast on. Oh, my God. Who's, and this is from the 70s? 79. What? This came out the year I was born. Seventy-nine. Oh, oh listen, my man. God. I got to get this. I got to find this. Oh my God, I can't take no wow. more. I couldn't believe oh it, bro. Yo, can you share that to my, like, is that Yo. on Instagram? Girl, YouTube? Oh my God. This is YouTube. And she, signed, and gonna, she, and she bites into it oh and signs off on God, it. Oh my God, y'all. We're going to put this the, is YouTube. Oh, we're going to put a picture. We're going to screenshot that and put it on the screen. Hopefully, YouTube. they don't flag us on YouTube. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but it's already on YouTube. It's already on YouTube. Wow. They've been doing it. Like I it said, that rough. It McDonald's like, you exclusively <laughs> markets and promotes to your black ass. They want you to die nah. eating that fake ass, phony ass food, bro. Wow. That's wow. But it'd be so number much, fat yeah. white women coming in there asking for a quarter pound and a diet coke. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Conspiracy, nigga. Conspiracy word. is the word. That's the word. <laughs> wow. 
Conspiracy. It's a conspiracy out here. <laughs> I do not fuck <laughs> with Mickey D's. <laughs> Every time I think of Calvin, there goes the I think of Whack Arnold. <laughs> <from, laughs> the McDonald's sponsorship is out of here. Gone completely. Hey, that's what y'all think. <laughs> Scratch that off the list. <laughs> McDonald's sponsorship. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, mark that off. <laughs> <laughs> this baby was not sponsored by McDonald's. Oh right. my God! Got it. <laughs> oh it's shit! Okay. It's okay. <laughs> Yo, call Burger King. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, I eat Burger King. I eat that <laughs> flame <laughs> broil motherfucker <laughs> way before. Possible why? I eat <laughs> that goddamn right. quarter pounder. Wow! Hell no. Nah. Okay. So oh, what, what's God. the word? What's the what's our word of the, of the day? Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> sponsorships, hey. <laughs> conspiracy, and sponsorships. Two words oh. of the day. Hey, Hennessy still love us though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> Calvin. <laughs> yeah, we, we done dumped on Calvin. Oh God! All right. All right. So the word of the day, y'all. Oh man. The word of the day, I feel like, oh, I got, I'm going to know a sentence for this one now, god damn it. <laughs> All right, can I get a drum roll, please, for the word of the day? Dadal. The word of the day is dadal. I know, it's interesting. I'm always giving you guys new words, new things to, to, to you know, expand your Adel. vocabulary. All right. Dadal. Uh, let's spell it. D-A-E-D-A-L. Part of spe- It's an adjective, right? Dado, one, skillful, artistic, B, or A, one A, skillful, artistic, one B, intricate. Okay? Nice. Dado, right? It's, a, it's also, it's also a, a, like a suffix of the word, of, of the name Daedalus. Y'all go, you ever heard of the Greek, in Greek mythology, Daedalus? Anyway. I've heard um, He was a skillful and artful craftsman and, and blah, blah, blah. So skillful and artistic, use it in a sentence. Um, it's an adjective, right? Um, Mickey D's. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey D's is dado with that shit trying to promote to your black ass. They dadled in a motherfucker oh, with your imagine. black ass promoting to Hilarious. Ass Hilarious. To death. Yeah, yeah, no. There goes the sponsorship. Hopefully yeah, we yeah. still have cold turkey. Did you say ba da ba 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 I'm suing you? <laughs> is that what you said? <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I hate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey. Right. And ladies and gentlemen, that's Will's word of the day. The word of the day, folks. Dadal. Dadal. Whoo, man. I like it. Drop your comments in the in the in the, in the wow. post below. <laughs> nice. Never heard of that word. That's oh. <laughs> Let's take a break. What we got next, Tedrick? <laughs> <laughs> we need a Tedra cam, dog. Right. Hey, okay, so this is our segment. This is our one of our segments, Singing in the Shower. So this is our opportunity because it's about networking across. It's about uh, our love for uh, for each other and, and, and showing love and, and giving each other our roses while we're here um, as independent folks and doing doing things on our own, man. Um, so uh, we like to shout out artists that we rock with, man. So, and I know that you're a management team, and you got artists uh, that you manage. So, man, uh, shout out those artists if you don't mind. You know what I'm saying? Who are you singing in the shower? Who are your artists? Well, um, I'll say uh, Sabril has uh, the Fly Society single out right now. Um, he's dope, Sabril. You can find him on Instagram. Um, S A H R E A L, surreal. Mm-hmm. That's his artist name. Nice. Um, and then also uh, producer extraordinaire, singer, songwriter, um, Amani the producer, aka Amani Chanel. She has the all instrumental album out called Chill Pills right now, uh, which is a very chill vibe. Just kind of, she's she's a producer. She's a real yeah. 
She's uh she plays six instruments. She's dope. Oh, hard. And um Cheryl's a a dope writer, performer, artist, and a fashion extraordinaire. So watch mm-hmm. out for his uh his fashion theme uh content going forward because he's definitely a fashion influencer as well. Oh, hard. So uh yeah, those are two artists. There's a lot of great artists right now. You know what I'm saying? But those are two that are uh, signed to Cold Turkey Manager right now, and they yeah. uh, they have a bright future ahead of them. So do they have any? In the shower. Uh, this this surreal 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 right? Does does he have any singles? Does he have any? Oh yeah, he has Fly Society. Like, oh, that's um, I'm sorry, you just yeah, said yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah he has um, <laughs> busted bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has, he has um, EP. He has Crown yeah. Vic. That's on his EP. That's single yeah. Crown Vic. Crown Victoria. Right. Um, it's dope too. Crown Victoria is dope. Um, so yeah, it's uh, he, yeah, he has a he has a couple singles coming out and a couple yeah. singles currently out. Yeah, he's out. So yeah. yeah. There's a lot of dope. All right. Dope. All right, all right, all right. Dope. Um, yeah. Tilly, what about you, man? You saying anything in shot right man. now? Man. No. <laughs> oh. This nigga don't never be singing in the shower. I don't sing it. I don't. I don't sing in the shower. You know what I do when I'm in the shower? Talk to me. I listen to podcasts when I'm in the shower. Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. I listen to 19 Keys. Okay, shout uh, out to 19 okay. Keys. All Absolutely. right. Yeah, 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 get deep with it. Deep <laughs> with it. Oh, you be watching that too? Oh, yeah, 19 Keys. Oh, I got to yeah. get on it, man. Yeah. I gotta, y'all might put me Very on intellectual on. cat. Man. Okay, yeah, okay. Thing, uh, fuck with intellectuals. For sure. Um, uh, right now, hey, man, y'all already know I'm singing in the shower. I'm like, splash, hey, hey. water. Hey. These way, hey, gonna get you caught up. They, they don't know about it yet. So they gonna know about it though. It's flat. No, it'll be out by they now. Don't know about it. It'll be out oh, by yeah. now. It'll be. It'll be out. It'll be out by the time <laughs> this episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. By the that. time this podcast episode drops, it'll be out. So like you guys, uh, like you guys, go go and check that out, man. It's yeah, uh, it's, man. it's 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 a vibe. It is a vibe. Hey, it's a, a real cool vibe, vibe, man. Vibe. Yeah, like it feel like it feels like man. We on purpose though. We 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 just kind of like went back with it. You know, we just kind of got like a old school vibe with it and I'm a skater so you know what I'm saying I fuck you know what I'm saying I gotta you know what I'm saying I gotta ooh, I gotta you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. So, and it feels it, it just felt like I just wanted to make something for me to skate to really and it yeah. just and it just fell into a groove and and I had T come around I was like yo T help me make this better and he was like Doo, doo, doo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wow. Put a couple of things in there. He was like, and I was like, voila. And I was like, Ooh, uh, you know what I'm saying? And I went back in there and touched up some things. Man, it was great. It was, it was yeah, great. Man. It was a great. It's a hard record, bro. It's a hard record, bro. You did your so, thing on that one for sure. Man, appreciate you, bro. We did our thing. And, uh, and, and um, yeah. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll, okay. We'll, we'll get you a sneak peek, you know what I'm saying? But like I, I said, by the time, yes, by the time this come out, it's going, by the time this come out, it'll be out. So. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. What else we got to tell you? Ooh, okay. Hey, so KO, KO is not an artist. Uh, KO's not an artist, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, we are, you know what I'm saying? So we we got something a little special for y'all today. We going to jump in and do our little music montage today. Maybe I'll do a little, uh, hey. And a okay, little. So, so now this montage is is um, is um uh, in tribute to, to someone special. To you both, Absolutely. Right? Man, thank you for saying that. Yeah, man. Um, Ko and I, we didn't talk about how we know each other, but Ko and I used to work together. Um, uh, you know, and we worked together with a with a very f- special special friend of ours that's very near and dear to our hearts, man. Absolutely. And uh, and and he, and the anniversary, and um, unfortunately he passed uh, a couple years ago, and um, and and you know Ko brought it up to me. He was like, man, we got definitely shout out Al. And I was like, man, you absolutely right, bro. Um, so we want to shout out our homie um, Al Jamar Henderson, whose uh, whose uh, you know anniversary of his passing is is actually coming up tomorrow on the day that we're taping. Uh, you guys won't see it uh, until until a little bit after that, but we still gotta shout out our guy, man. Um, so and we'll show it, we'll show it on the big screen. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show it to you now, but I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you a, a better picture at the end of the, at the end of the show, but. We just want to show a show show love to, and, uh, and and give a special shout out to our homie. Yeah, man. Uh, rest in heaven, rest in Absolutely. peace, rest in uh, Al Jamar Henderson, man, yeah, it's the it. homie. Absolutely. Um, and uh, and and oh, man, we got to talk more about that later because you're you're doing something special for Al, and I want to highlight that. I want to highlight that as, as soon as we're done with our music montage. All right. All right. Well, what's up? We got- 
We got some things in the plan. Yeah. So, yeah well, well, let's yeah. talk about it. We let's can't get too deep. We can't get too deep. I know, yeah, I know, yeah, I know, I know, yeah, I know. For sure, for I know. Sure. We don't want to get too deep. We don't want to get too deep. It's, for sure. Um, we definitely have some plans for my boy, though. Yeah. yeah. But ladies and gentlemen, a musical montage from us today. You know what I'm saying? In tribute um, to our homie, Al Jamar Henderson. And he yes, would have loved, he would have loved this. Fan questions. <laughs> <laughs> what well, uh, you know, fluently? Listen, I, I speak English fluently, of course. Yeah. And um, other languages, <laughs> I I can speak some of. I can comprehend a lot of. So Spanish, um, Swahili, which is mm. my culture. Uh, so you know, I can speak a little bit, just a little bit. Got him. Habargani. Ooh. <laughs> it's like what's up? What's the news? What's the news? What's uh, up? It's like saying what's up to people. I said Barigani. I learned one phrase of in Swahili uh, when I was like I was on Babel at one point. Cock and die dundee. That's the, and so I said crocodile dundee. I know, right? right. And that's why I remember <laughs> so, it. That's why I remember <laughs> it. So, that's exactly wait, wait, why wait, I remember it. You know what you're saying? Huh? What, what, is, what is it? I think it. I I think it's a long time ago, but I think it means the girls are running. I mean, you know what? I have to call one of my I was so, I was so I to low to find cousins. out what this is I, to I find out that you cousins. absolutely don't know what you're talking about. I got to call I mean, I think it's, it's got to be close to the... It's got to be close. Call it right now. <laughs> it's got to be close. It's got to be close to that, I think. Because I, 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 because uh, I remember... All Kenyan people, comment below. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, help me, please. Because I remember, I remember it sounding like Crocodile Dundee. So I was like, oh, that was the way I, re that was my mnemonic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was the way I remembered it. <laughs> Cock and die Dundee. Is the, all that, the girls are running. I think. That's, I think it's the girls. Well, why I think they, it's the girls are running. Why I know. are they running? This is different, man. What's but you know up? the way that they You're feed, like, you know the way that, that those, yeah, well, you know the way that they, uh, the way that those, uh, those um, language things work, they feed you random stuff. So they, oh, they feed you, gosh, they feed yeah. you like small, so as you're learning, you you might learn. Oh, you better. might learn the girl. The girls are you running. Might learn the, yeah. and then you might learn the girl, and then you mm -hmm. might learn run, and then you right. might learn running, the and then you running. might is, and then right. the girls are. You know, or the, you're uh, thinking the something's going running. on. They're escaping. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, nah. They're just running. Okay. They just teach you. Girls are running. The guys are running. The boys are running. Yeah. There's always a reason, bro, Absolutely. behind my madness, guys. I'm learning. Um. I think black people. Not enough black people say this. You also speak African American vernacular. Anyway, let's keep right, moving. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, slang. We have hey, our secret language. People don't know. They don't. Well, I did say, hey. They don't be known. Yeah, See I did, that I right there. I speak a couple they, of languages, right a little bit of broken here yeah. and there. Some pigeon, so, some pigeon. I'm with, real talk. We, we'll definitely put that up there. African American vernacular is basically pigeon American English. We can talk in <laughs> slang. Yeah. Black people can speak right now to each other. And use so many code words and slang and different language. Yeah. What we saying don't even mean anywhere what in the country. We're saying, but we understand what we, it is. Yeah, we just <laughs> say, "Yo, listen, you got a little food, and you don't know what we talking about." Right, right. right. <laughs> you thinking like, oh, "He's going to this refrigerator." What kind of food maybe, you maybe about? not. Right. You know what I'm saying? So there's Real so talk. many different things. We say whip, like yo, hop in the whip. I'm like, yeah, Come on. yeah. Yeah, you know pull up at the crib, my I'm home. At the spot was the yeah, spot. Yeah, at the spot, the whip, all that. We. Masters of slang and yeah. language. And, What's and, crazy is all of that is being taken. Oh, they, yeah. Like, they love 100%. to steal. Trendsetters oh, always. Well, you already know. <laughs> like, you know. I mean, if you don't have anything know. already, well, you, know how you it is tend to steal. You tend to take something. You know how it is. When you're creative, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know how it is. Especially, especially right. if, okay, if you if you guys are producers, you guys do music, okay? Yep. You got the, they have the people who are super creative with doing things. There are people who kind of... They might be good at something else. You feel me? So you're going to be the trendsetter. Yeah. You're going to be the person yeah. who people mimic. Yeah. 
It's just a sign true. of your greatness. This is true. At the end of the day, Facts. the greater you are, the more little yous and, are going to be running around. Yeah. Can you really even say that that there, there's really no the truer test of how you are impacting your industry until you create some babies? <laughs> you oh, know man, what I'm listen, at the end of the day, yeah. at the end of the day, it's like people people will say that, oh, man, they, they copy me, they this and the third. I'd be like, man, that's how you know. But see, you're the fountain, right? You're the source of this creativity, mm. right? So Come on, fountain. You know what I'm saying? I like that. I ain't never so, heard of that like that before. That was... If you're the source of creativity, then it's like certain stuff I'd be like, like whatever. The best stuff I created, I haven't even created yet. The best stuff yeah. I have. Yeah. It's so you know how it goes. You can it, have it, it comes with the territory. Yeah. If you're great, yeah. if you're super talented, they probably look at it. But no one's gonna be able to do it like you. Yeah. Let's be clear. Yeah. That's, no that's one's gonna great. be able to do it like you. Yeah. That's just a Big simple fact. fact. So they can borrow people Big can fact. borrow it and it's in the studio. Wow. This applies to <laughs> so much more. To everything. But yeah. yes, slang does get taken and used and mm-hmm. whatever. And there's a new one before it's even heard. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you know how it goes, bro. Mm. You get used to the territory. It comes with being great. Mm-hmm. You gotta get used yeah. to it. Don't even focus on it. You keep making, keep creating. You won't be able to stop. You Facts. Gonna be stopped, rather. Facts. So, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> the worst job ever had. That's a good Man, question. Listen, the worst. Okay. I know mine. And, 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 <laughs> Because it lasted like, a day. I mean, I know even if it lasted a day, is that still a job? Because that's not a day after. We'll count it. But um, yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, you know, that sounds like your worst job. Bro. <laughs> You're right. 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 Day, like, day. Day. You feel me? I'll say I'm my. About my I'm gonna say my first job was working in a video store. A whole bunch of fun and a whole bunch of movies and uh, video games, whatever. I bet. You feel me? So that was my first job. Worst job is when I tried construction for a day. This is like had to be like maybe like freshman in college maybe, mm-hmm. and someone was like, "Yo, lad, we do this. We work here. Like, yo, you should come here and work." I went out there like one day, and then, I mean, I get it. And, you know, I understand. There's yeah, a lot of yeah. not to say construction construction is tough. Anybody who does it knows it's tough. Yeah, if you, yeah, if you yeah. have a passion for it, you have a passion for it. Right. But I look. <laughs> this one dude was like, "Yo, we want you to dig this. We about to lay some pipe or some shit." Yeah. It was like, yo, dig this hole. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> God. Yo. God, me. Yo. You know what? Yo, oh, that man. was the best pause I've ever oh, heard. Was the man. best pause. The timing, the timing was <laughs> just was the best impeccable. <laughs> but guess what? <laughs> but guess what? <laughs> I'm very familiar with laying. I'm very familiar with laying pipe. Anyway, let's yeah. just, anyway, take it back. But anyway, don't don't quote me. <laughs> That's, so it's pretty ironic that you yeah. know. But uh, but I was like, nah, man, we ain't digging these holes though. Yeah. Out in the sun, I said. I know. I said, bro, listen. Yeah. You feel me? Nah, this ain't grandma's yard. I'm not yeah. digging this hole out here. So uh, oh, yeah, so that right there. That was for me. That was like, worst. nah, we on the sun doing what? I think uh, on some real, it was also the fact that the people who were over us, you know, what I'm saying it was, it was one of those. It yeah. felt historically wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. <laughs> the way the energy was that day. Yeah. Listen, the way the energy was that day. Yeah. Listen, yeah. on some real. Yeah. I remember somebody was digging a pipe. It was trying to dig. He was digging, <laughs> digging in the ground. I was thinking about it. We were gonna put a pause count. Uh, listen, <laughs> my bad. I remember somebody was digging in the ground. They were digging the hole. We're talking about construction for God's sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. You gotta they were digging the hole for a water you gotta pipe. Clarify. You, gotta, you gotta clarify. But to go into the building <laughs> specifically, you have to lay. When you put pipe in the ground, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. that's a lay the right way. <laughs> but anyway, and I remember the one kid got so hot he threw up. And I saw the dude sitting there laughing like, ha, ha, ha. I said, no, nah, that was racist. Oh, <laughs> man. I thought it was funny. I looked, I said, oh, that's racist. <laughs> so, and, and, I, and I was new in Georgia, too. I was new in Georgia, too. And I was like, nah, yo. I was like, hold on. I said, hell no. So you just never went back. I don't care how much, hell no. I was like, I don't care how much they paying. Peace oh, out. Man. I'm out of here. 
You know what I'm saying? Because the form so, be why. Uh, uh, that was like the historically that was like, wrong. I mean, it was they were the ones running the company. And they didn't really have a lot of respect for people. It was yeah. different. You feel me? And um, so for me, I was like, nah. I was like, nah, we're not doing this. And I was fresh in Georgia too. Yeah. And I already looking around, saw some some energy around. I'm like, I ain't used to this. I gotta chill out. Right. So <laughs> that was just my life. You know, I get it. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. You know, I know and that's not the worst job in the world. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you need what? What's Dang. that? You need what? She's going in on you, bro. Say it again. Say it again. That sounds right. No, don't. If, if you need, specifically, if you need your pipe laid. Don't call KO? No. Yeah. KO got his own right. pipes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. There you so, go. There you go. I ain't playing nobody else's pipes. All right? <laughs> Let's be clear. I just want to be clear. I got my own. I don't, I don't oh. need anybody else's. Teach his own. Anyway. Yo. Hilarious, bro. Oh, my God. My if I heard hurt. that correctly, I don't know. You did. Make sure I heard it correctly. All right, cool. Yeah. But thank you. Yes, no, you 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 thought that went through and you and you okay. and you thought right, bro. I was making sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's my bad. Yeah, Yo. So, all right. Oh my God, we having too much fun. <laughs> yeah, so 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 we were talking earlier about being trendsetters, oh, and, you man. know, and and it this whole conversation is kind of lining up with with my teachable moment, which is a bit of advice, if I may. Okay. Don't admire the greatness in others so much mm. that you belittle the greatness in yourself. Mm. We we tend to we'll we'll look at somebody else and see what they do and we admire what they do so much sometimes that we end up asking ourselves, man, I I could never do that or mm. oh, wow. or we you know the thing that we do aspire to do we're looking at this other person is doing something totally different wow. but the level of, at which they do it is so high we feel like we can't reach it mm. and we don't even realize that the capacity is there if only we will do what that other person did which is cultivate it. Absolutely, man. <laughs> so we can't, we can't, we can't raise someone up so much, and not even realize that that same greatness that's in that person lies within us. We just got to be willing to put in the work. Mm. And I, and I, I want to say, I speak to everything that I say in these moments is stuff that comes from my own self, yeah. um, analyzing yeah, yeah. and self reflection. And realizing the things within me that need to be let go of, or the things that I need to embrace, exactly. and so you know, yes, that mm. is my teachable moment of the show. Uh, man, that was an amazing teachable moment uh, by my homeboy Tilly. Man, you out here preaching, Doc. We are gonna get you. We are gonna get you an organ, man. I keep telling y'all, man. Every everything, everything. Um, I'm gonna say negative, but not negative. But everything that's happened to me over the last couple of years, you know, and at some point we'll kind of go into that, but this is what it was for. Yeah. Wow. It's for exactly. me to, it's for me to take what I've learned and give it to somebody. Else. I mean, that's what we all go through every yeah. day. It's Absolutely. always to help somebody. Absolutely, man. So, man, and we glad about it. We glad that you're doing it, man. We also glad We also glad what? Oh, we talk about the merch. I know. You can talk on the mic. <laughs> Let's talk about this merch. K.O., before we get out of here, man, um, it's been an amazing time talking to my homeboy, K.O., man. We Great appreciate times, you for man. coming on the podcast, Great times, my boy. Man. Great times. Um, Absolutely. It's been nothing but good vibes with you. Before we get up out of here, man, talk about this merch that you got here, man, all this good product that you got. I, I slick one and put this on my head, man. This, good quality product. Man, like, this, it looks yo, very well I made. I promise you, you can fall a million times and not be hurt, You and you won't be concussed. Less C T E with C T ah. M G T. Ah. Woo, fuck with me. <laughs> Whoa, come on, I just can't nah. stop. <laughs> you nice flowing, boy. Flowing, flowing. I'm hot. I'm hot. Um, <laughs> I'm hot. I'm <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yo, well, no, is, uh, it's amazing quality stuff, bro. Talk about your stuff, man. It look, it looks amazing too. Man. Well, these are a couple of items from um, the Cold Turkey Sporting. Collection. Nice. So uh, these are sporting driven. That's a BMX helmet. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So while you're, while you're sitting there hitting those tricks on your BMX bike, you won't, if you hit your head, you'd be less likely to get a concussion, right? 
Definitely. Um, this is our gym bag. It's in the Woodland Camo. Felt very secure. Um, right, it's, a, it's a gym bag. It, it's promoting the athletic lifestyle. Love it. Of course, we have the cross chest pouch. Um, so you can throw your things in there if you are running, if you are actively jogging or in the gym. It's something that, you know, you won't lose your wallet. And we just put it in there. So mm. um, these pieces are from the Cold Turkey Sporting site. The duffel's up on the site now. It's available now. Um, the helmet is shirt. Not, Oh yeah, this is just a regular. This this is the uniform, man. It's the work clothes, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, of course, yeah, you can buy air fresheners, fresh little pieces <laughs> like that. New, new car, car. smell. You can get that on the these. website yeah, now. Man. The keychains on the website available. Um, you got the keychains? Keychains over there. Keychains on the website for sure. Yeah. Hey. yeah cold turkey shop. I'm you know, proud got of you, dog. Up on uh, Shopify right now, and also our website. ColdTurkeyManagement.com for sure. So. Man. And the logo is dope too, man. Let me say. Oh, it looks thank great. You. I appreciate man. it. It's, it's hard, it's man. It's the cold turkey. I appreciate it's it. It's great. It looks it looks amazing, bro. And it's and it's and lo- listen, y'all, and I and I'm I'm not I'm not capping, I'm not playing with y'all. This is great pro- this is great stuff, man. It, it if it I mean it's it's high quality stuff. Like I, you guys might not be able to see it, but it's amazing, bro. So y'all need to make sure y'all yeah, get y'all cold sure. turkey stuff, man. Um, Cause I know he ain't gonna do it nothing but the best. Um, so it. one more shout out to our amazing guest. Yes, sir. Uh, Ko. Thank you, man. Thank you for having we me. We appreciate, appreciate you it. pulling up. Of course, man. Anytime, anytime. Hey. Appreciate you for having me. It's been a pleasure, hey. man. Been great. And ladies and gentlemen, y'all know what time it is. Make sure y'all watch and subscribe. Make sure y'all leave y'all comments. Uh, leave rate and review on Apple Podcasts and everywhere. Five stars if you don't mind. Reviews always. Help. Thank you.